in this video introducing the live docs feature for the confluence now, i'm having two users in here and as you can see right from the start i can actually see this indicator in here so what is the point of the live docs the whole purpose of the live docs is that you can make the updates without having to publish anything so for example i'm going to see hello from the now i'm just going to type hello youtube and now as you can see on the right side i can i can definitely see see that there are actually some of the reflections in here and i can see that basically another user is definitely in here and that they are collaborating now you can have more users that are collaborating at the same time now you might actually find this that this was actually being used within the google docs and actually within the google docs you can see the user who is actually accessing your product your uh, document and you can define this in two ways number one is if this is the access to your internal user and they and then you see their first name and the last name and then there is actually an external user but that external user actually has the access to that document and it's called something like anonymous panda anonymous squirrel anonymous cat or something like that but in here it's all about having the uh, first name and the last name so now i'm going to edit from here and i'm going to say uh, this is the edit for the live docs feature and now look at this i can actually see that there is n indeed another user in here and that the another user has indeed wrote this line right here so what i can do i can actually when i select their uh, text I can like bold it and as you can see from the view of this another user they can actually see the changes so if I go and if I let's say underline this if I can actually change this and for example I can add the st status to this and I can and I can go and say you know what this is gonna be in the progress maybe that is not reflecting in here but that is that is also um, understandable and that is also okay so let's see in here live docs comment all right so this is something that i'm having in here and as you can see i can see this change immediately where it's saying a live docs document pretty cool yeah what else I can do? I can, for example, if I want, I can like uh, create a table in here. And as you can see, the table has been created. And I can type in in here column one. I can type in here column two. And I can type in here column number three. I can say row one. And I can say. Uh, row two and so on and so forth and i can see it from here and i'm i can be like you know what this can actually be changed i can be like you know what i can insert the chart here and i can see that chart indeed in here so they're like chart options and i can say okay this is the bar or this could be a pie chart or something like that this could be either a line so as you can see the changes are being applied like right away 
and also it has been created I imagine having like five people having ten people over one document where everyone is actually collaborating at the very uh, same time so this would actually save a lot of time it would definitely save a lot of time for the users especially when it comes to the real-time collaboration that is the whole point of creating your live docs and there this is how you can actually use live docs so for example if I go here and if I click on reply and I can say I can say something what do you think about new live docs I can go around and I can mention this user I can click on save so now what happens is whoop I I just got mentioned in here and I can for example say you know what I can add lights like a fire emoji or something like that so that is so that is something that is also interesting Uh, the other things that also we can actually do in here for example we can add some uh, there is like the Jira timeline and uh, I can paste the Jira instance URL but let me go in here uh, it's not that. let's use a different one work items okay so what it what is the project that we're having so we have gen AI and I'm going to say you know what insert the work items and what is happening right away I can see that that has been inserted in here and for example here I can say you know what this this actually has been this part has been changed yeah for this and as you can see when I click on refresh I can now see the assignee has actually definitely changed in here so that is something that I can definitely do I can change the statuses from here I can refresh this for the synchronization and when the uh, status is actually in progress I get assigned to this issue so uh, this is something as well that you can do so when you're inserting your um, macros of course this is something that uh, that is uh, possible to do right so when we go when we go for more of it we go here I'm making a space here I can add uh, it's a new table Let's see I don't want it I want to add something more or to create a confluence page or something like that so I can go through the uh, menu of it and I can I can define what basically I want to add yeah table from the CSV so there are like a lot of stuff that I can actually include in here like really really at a, a lot of stuff I can include the uh, emoji I can include the video yeah note panel and I can write something like this is a really cool feature And there we go and I can select this from this side of course and I can for example highlight it to be in green and it turns green in here so as you can see that is how the live docs actually work don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video